guys, Ralph here, and welcome to True Power Trumpet Fitness on this thrilling Thursday here in Connecticut. Life's good, guys. Life as good. Anyway, you saw the thumbnail. Power, man. I took a day off yesterday because I, I wanted to do another one, but the power. Tone, power, range, and endurance. We'll do range tomorrow, and maybe we'll finish up with endurance on Monday. Uh, have you heard me talk about this incessantly? That was Jerry's mantra, tone, power, range, and endurance. Uh, he was an extremely strong player, man. <laughs> I mean, you talk about power. Um, anyway, let me honk. I played quite a bit, and um, we'll take it from there. Okay? Anyway, serious, <laughs> hellacious, double C's, and a uh, little tartini. Now, anyway, guys, here's the deal. Um, I have made no bones about it that I feel the uh, level of trumpet playing as a whole has gone down dramatically in recent generations. Okay? Uh, and... What I am referring to specifically is tone and power, okay? Now, there are lots of guys on the internet that can get a reasonable facsimile of a double C out. I don't even call them notes, but they do get reasonable facsimiles of double Cs. Um, now, I, I think I used this term before, this phrase before, you take one of these internet double C guys, and you put them next to, in a, in a section of Lynn Nicholson, Stan Mark, and Nick Drozdov, you're not going to hear one note they play. Not one. Any one of those three could overpower any of these internet sensations. And I haven't heard every internet sensation, guys. I'm not, I'm not uh, pointing anybody out. And so don't e uh, email me or comment and say, I know who you're talking about, this guy. No, you don't know who I'm talking about. Okay, I'm not going to tell you. So, <laughs> anyway, um, and it is the tone and power that um, sets them apart. Now, also, there are dozens, dozens, lots of guys from the sort of uh, Juilliard, Ray Mace, Mark Gould school that can dazzle you with technique, dazzle you with technique. Do I want to hear them instead of Stegers, instead of Liberati? No, not even close. Why? Because of the tone and power. Some of them can even go faster than those guys. I don't want to hear it. The tone and power to me is not right. Now, needless to say, the tone and power are, are, are intertwined. A big tone, a weak tone, power is, is part of tone. But they are so substantial that I don't like to put them together okay now here's the deal tone and power power guys on this one I agree with Doc completely before we get to that we'll get to Doc but think about my idols guys Mel Broyles just knock down the walls of Jericho much less the Metropolitan Opera Vacchiano tremendously strong player Herseth, are you kidding me? You listen to his Strauss as I'm held in Lehman. It's hellacious. He sounds like Harry James. Harry James, Maynard Ferguson, Kaimar, okay? Frank Cataravic, are you telling me that guy was a bull? And each one of these guys, there isn't one guy today. 
Herb, Str Herb Smith. There's a couple guys I did a recent thing on that are, that are in that ballpark, but nobody's playing like Mel. Nobody's playing like her, Seth. And each one today will be the first one to tell you, you're right. Batayan, he's incredible. Is he as good as her, Seth? Not, not for my money, bud. Now, he's very strong. He's very strong. Michael Sachs, he's, he's another strong one, too. Is he as good as uh, Mel? Anyway, for tone and power. For tone and power. Is he as good as them? Of course, he's a tremendous player, both of them. For tone and power, I prefer my list of idols. Okay? Now, back to Doc. He said in one of his um, clinics, he said in no uncertain terms, and Jerry and I believe this a thousand percent. He said, if you practice correctly with a nice full tone, he said, you will have no problem playing soft, pianissimo. The chops, if they are developed correctly, you can play soft. If you play primarily soft in your practice, you are going to crash when you try to play sustained long passages. And these guys that are playing with this quintet and that quintet and that solo and just dazzle you with the Carnival of Venice, guys, back to Maynard Ferguson. Uh, Maynard Ferguson, you're not going to hear him that hard. You put him in, in um, the Chicago Symphony with Katarabic and Herseth in the same in the same section. You're not going to hear that. You're not going to hear one note they play. And again, that is what that strong tone, centered, pure, brilliant. That's what I got in my mind. That's what I have in my mind. And again, let me make this perfectly clear that all of you just relax. I am not saying the guys of today are not wonderful players. That component, the tone and power, and anybody that comes from my generation will back me up on this. It's different. And for my way of thinking, it's not for the better. Okay? The tone. The tone has to ring true and strong, whether you're playing in a big band, whether you're playing in a concert band, whether you're in a marching band and there's no acoustics and you, you have to, you know, split the goalposts with, with, with double C's, guys, it's got to be strong. And with the true power way and the 1SB, guys, you can play, is just knock down the walls of Jericho with anyone if you want and caress the baby, play in a whisper. You're not straining. You're not hurting your lips. That's how to do it. Now, for my money, like Doc said, why wouldn't you just practice for the strength and have the soft stuff too? If you're practicing only with the soft stuff, you're not going to get the strength long term. It's going to collapse, especially in these mouthpieces. And that's another thing. A mouthpiece that holds you when you're playing um, softly is probably not going to work when you try to put some air behind it. You're going to collapse in these Bach mouthpieces and stuff. All right? All right. Anyway, eat and drink your fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power. Love you all.